Hello, I'm from Scary Progress tonight, and I have a very exciting update. Um, there's a new feature for the UI in there tonight to make it UI even like more customizable than it was, and it's called Facet Anchors. So what you want to do is like you want to go to Settings uh, under User Interface. If I scroll down. You see facet anchors. It is off by default because it's a little bit more advanced user feature. But um, once you turn this on, um, what I can do is now the same button that normally opens and closes dash on my right hand. If I press it, you see like these things will pop up, and they're like gonna you know, pop in and pop out. Uh, so now these are essentially like blank slates for placing pieces of UI like facets on them. So you can kind of customize and have like, you know, quick access for stuff. So you don't have to go like, you know, to your dash for everything. So say like I very frequently, you know, want to toggle seated mode. I kind of stopped my dash because I was developing stuff. So I'm just going to go inventory. Uh, I'm going to grab a facet. Uh, there's the, where is it? Where is it? Um, seated mode. There we go. So I spawned this facet and you know, I have this facet, and now I can like place it on these. I need to enable the UI edit mode. Uh, that's done by pressing one of the buttons and double tapping the other. And you see this kind of shows like this kind of like grid. And now I can grab this and say, you know, I want I want to have it over here. So I'm going to flip this over there. And if I, I can either press this button or, you know, do the gesture again. Now this is at quick access. So I can now toggle this on and off. So any facet, anything that you place, you know, in your dash, you can place on your hands as well. Um, and what's really cool is like, we, since we just reworked the settings UI, one of the big parts of this is that any single setting in here, you can actually use and place it, you know, like if, if you want to use it like often, you can place it like on your hands. So one of the things I do is oftentimes I just volume as I'm in worlds, so for example, you know, there's the master volume. So what I do, I just grab it by these pieces. Actually, let me go to the UI edit mode first. Um, I'm going to grab this by this. <gasps> you see this grabs like a facet like this. And now I'll just uh, pull it here. I'm just going to pull it like this. There we go. And now I have this thing. So um, if I change this, you know, changes in both places. That way, if I want to, you know, adjust something, I'll make sure I add a few more, because I usually adjust my multimedia volume, so I'm going to pop this one in two. Pop this here, put it like a little bit too low. Uh, and also adjust the volume, it's a very common one too. We might need to like tweak some of the default like sizes and everything. So I'm just kind of sizing manually. Oh, and say another thing you do often is like, you know, toggle the earmuff mode on and off. So I can just, you know, pop this, and maybe I'll put this over here. That was uh, look. There we go. And you see now this is if I now this kind of toggles in sync. Um, what this means is like you know if you have like some things that like you use very often, um, you don't have to like you know like because sometimes you know it can be in dash. You can have this open, you know, and say like you know there's something that's playing really loud. Um, you know I have to go like you know settings, audio, scroll to this and. You know, adjust it here, but no, like if I if I have something that I like I want to access quickly, I just you know put it here, uh, open it up, and I can just be like, you know, you know, adjust everything I need. And this works for, for anything. Um, pretty much almost any setting. So if I also go say I wanted to do what's something that's gonna be very visible. Um I know the bloom's gonna be super visible. Um Let's do... what do I do, what do I do? Oh, let's do the bloom. Uh, so I'm gonna grab the bloom. Uh, let's say I actually want to place it over here instead, on my other hand. Um, so I'm gonna place it here, so I'll finish it, there we go. Mm, I need to add like some borders to this. There's still some tweaking to be done, there we go. Eh, eh, that's a little bit, but this works. Um, so now, actually you'll be able to see that over there, so if I like lower this. Actually, hold on. I might need to turn off the camera because this doesn't affect this camera. There we go. Um, so see now I can be like zoop, 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 zoop. And I've got like, you know, quick access to these. Um, here we 
go. Let me turn the camera back on. Um, you can also place your know, stuff on the forearm. Like it can be like also informative facets. So for example, you know, I want to have the time there, or like you know something else. Um, so for example, the sink. I can just be like, you know, I'm gonna put this here. You know, and I have like this information, very quick access. And like on the bottom of the hand, so I can like, you know, um, I kind of, you know, think that. Um, what's the online status? I just wanna like, you know, have it like something that I can toggle super quick. So I'll just be like, Voop. there we go. And now I can, you know, be toggling like this. Um, there's one more thing I want to mention. So you can notice if I go into the edit mode, there's actually a grid in front of me. Uh, and what this means, I can also play stuff in my viewport and that's always visible. Um, this is mostly meant for like, you know, stuff that's kind of like, you know, at the side of your visions. So for example, I want to see, you know, the time. Um, I can take this and, you know, I can plop it right there at the edge of my view and say I really want to, I always want to see like, you know, my voice, so I'm gonna spawn the facet, um, gonna plop it right here, maybe, let me make it actually a bit bigger, I'm gonna do like this, there, oh, I messed it up, come on, there we go, and now if I disable this, you see, like, you no, know, this is always in my view, so I can also like, you know, change volume, I can mute, and I have like the time there. You can make facets, um, you know, of these, like they can be made, well, like even these, these ones made like in game. So you can make your own versions, or you can make, you know, facets for whatever function that they want. You can have, you know, you know even stuff for your avatar that's gonna sync through cloud variables. Um, and say like you wanna, we're probably gonna add an official one for this, but uh, as an example, one thing you can do is when you get muted, uh, you can have a, oh, it's actually moving my mouth now, of course. Um, when you get muted, um, you can have a facet that's only visible when you're like muted and you can put it in your vision so it always kind of reminds you I'm muted right now. Um, and you can, you know, customize kind of like where, where you want it to be placed. If you really want to be in the center of your vision, you can do that. Um, so there's like a lot of like flexibility with this kind of system. We also probably rework the notifications. So notifications is essentially just going to be another facet that's kind of placed like this. So you can customize where it is. Um, there's lots of possibility, cool possibilities. Uh, let me actually, there we go. Can talk again. Um, so there's a lot of flexibilities to this kind of system. It's like, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be really cool because like one of the big philosophies for Resonite is that like we want to make the UI when you start, it's as easy to use as possible. Like, you know, you can uh, get started, you can start socializing and, you know, start like talking with people. Um, and then as you kind of figure out like, what do you want to do on this platform? Like you can customize the UI and have it kind of grow with you. Um, once we kind of rework more of the pieces of the UI, because uh, you'll be able to like, uh, you know, customize the experience even further. So for example, when the inventory is reworked, you can place quick access inventory on your hand. Uh, for example, when you're like, you know, building or one of the things, you know, like this is technically a facet too. So I can just, you know, plop this, like the whole like board view and I can place it on my hand. Um, let me actually plop this. I'm going to drag it over the whole thing. There we go. And now like, you know, I have, I have the worlds, you know, on my hand if I want to, you know, do that. Uh, and there's another thing will also be like a, like improving this so like you can actually better you know control what it's like and what individual pieces of UI like look like. But the general like idea is like you know all of the UI is very dynamic, it's very flexible, uh, and it's very modular. So you can like you know you can customize things and place them wherever like you wherever you want. Same with the contacts, you know, say like you wanna you wanna have like your know, messages, you know, maybe visible on your hand. You can instead of going through the dash, you can just you know have it here and have like you know very quick access. So there's going to be lots of possibilities. This is, you know, just kind of like the start for it. Um, well, not maybe the start, but like, uh, it's a really, it's something that I think like really unlocks like a lot of power in the customizable UI. It's just being able to like, you know, customize it like this, place things wherever we want and uh, make the UI kind of, you know, your own. Um, same thing if you go, you know, in the inventory, there's a, like, um, 
for example, the uh, Windows 98, what kind of style of assets that I can like, you know, for example, on this one. So this is like a customized one made by um, made by the content team. So I can, for example, you know, do this. And this one interferes a little bit, so there's some tweaking to be done. Um, but it has function. Then might need a little bit more tweaking. We'll probably do some like more tweaking for like a bunch of these because uh, they don't always respond the best like to sizing. So there's like some improvements to be made. Um, another one that's common is like nameplates. Some of them do. So for example, this one, um, the nameplates one. So like I can either plop it like this, you know, like where it includes everything. So I can you know toggle nameplates. Um, but if you like, if you already know what it does, since you're customizing it, I can take this facet and I can make it small. I can just make it like this, you know, like a little icon. Same with this one. I can just be like, like this. Um, and I would like, you know, I don't have the space for the icon, like for the text, because I don't need it anymore. I know like what these do. So a bunch of them kind of, you know, they'll adapt like to the size as well. So like... Uh, there's a bunch of tweaking, but like hopefully this is like a you know, really cool system and you will enjoy using it. So that's pretty much everything, I think, unless I forgot something, I usually forget something, but I, I don't remember what it is because I forgot that something, what the something is. Anyway, um, thank you very much for watching, I hope like you enjoyed this update. Um, let us know that there's gonna be a bunch of like, you know, tweaks and feedback and like, you know, stuff like when, um, when you start like kind of playing with it, that's usually when we discover some more things to do and some more things to improve and such. So let us know. Um, thanks to everyone, like you know, who's like supporting this platform, like you know, who's, like all the supporters on Patreon, like you're helping kind of make this happen and make like you know cool features like this happen. So thank you very much too, and thanks to everyone, everyone for playing and making cool things on the platform. So um, I think it should be everything. So thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye, bye bye. Uh...